Behind six double-figure scores, minus Stephen Curry and Draymond Green, the Dubs builds upon their lead atop the Western Conference preseason standings. Trace Jackson Davis is earning his position as the team's starting center, DeAnthony Melton's replacing Klay Thompson with playmaking, while Lindy Waters III is earning his spot on the roster. Similarly to Moody, Kaminga, and Davis, Brandon Pajemski's development is evident, and while he did suffer a nose contusion that ended his game early, expect the product of Santa Clara to be a productive backup to Stephen Curry. While Pajemski's not replacing Steph in the starting five, Buddy Heald will be next to him, who's resembling the ideal sixth man with his instant offense. Stay tuned for more on Heald. The chemistry on both ends between DeAnthony Melton, Trace Jackson Davis, and Brandon Pajemski was prevalent early and often. Melton scored or assisted on the first 10 points of the game, consisting of him lobbing to TJD in the dunkers, pulling up off a TJD screen in the short corner, driving and kicking to Pajemski, knocking down a catch and shoot from Pods, and capitalizing off a of Pods steal by gathering the loose ball, pushing the pace, and scoring in transition. Here, Melton's matched up with Cade, and watch how DeAnthony gives Cunningham the angle on the drop step which works to funnel him into the backside help of Jackson Davis, who's there for the two-hand straight-up contest that results in a rejection. The vamped scoring poise from Pods showed itself when he caught this skip pass from Kyle Anderson, used an inverted jab step, faked the DHO to GP2, barged down the lane, and reversed around Isaiah Stewart and Jaden Ivey, and he rightfully wanted the and one. Jackson Davis would hustle back to swat Tobias Harris's layup attempt before heavily contesting and forcing a bad miss on Jalen Duran, a beastly stance that initiated a break where Waters found Melton who found Pajemski for the triple. Elite two-way sequence right there from the Warrior sophomores. Pick and roll with Melton and Davis continues to display the playmaking chops from DeAnthony, as his drive draws the help of the low man in Duran and he floats it over him to find Trace for the lob. This time off the Kaminga miss, it's Melton touch pass into Trace for the jam. After some Chicago action that doesn't pan out, it's TJD showing us the chemistry he's built up with Pajemski by turning the corner on Duran and then scoop pass into Brandon in the pocket. Out of this Chicago, it's TJD faking the DHO to Moody, instead going to Melton, which initiates another executed PNR that results in a lob finish. Davis finished with a 12-point double-double, and one of his 10 rebounds was collected off this high-velocity miss from Moody where he rustles it away from Duran before hop-stepping in for the finish. Trace would then roll to the hoop to put back another miss from Moody, this time it being a layup, as TJD was a monster on the glass and the star of this game because of that. Jackson Davis should be starting, but in terms of off the bench, Buddy Heald seeming to be the perfect fit in Golden State. Heald made a game-high four three-pointers, and in this clip, we can see him exchanging shooting information with Stephen Curry. Since the 2016-17 season, Steph and Buddy are first and second in total three-pointers made, so the two letting each other know one another's secrets is a fairly dangerous scenario for opponents. These two all-time marksmen having new tricks to their trade should pay dividends for their three-point outputs. Regarding Heald's ability to provide a spark with the second unit, Steve Kerr spoke on that by saying, quote, He looks the part, doesn't he? He comes off the bench and you can feel his impact immediately. He's not shy and we need that. End quote. Given Kerr's offense is built to benefit three-point shooters, when Steph rests, Buddy should be able to fluidly fill the void. This was your boy D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.